Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a Zodiac series with a moon driven timing card. It's about opening to your intuition through a challenge or an opportunity that will bring a new inspiration to make better art. There are no dates on these readings as they're meant to inspire at any given time. This is a reading for Scorpio whose relating tarot card is the death card. The death card is all about letting go, out with the old and in with the new. It's about transformation of your higher self and figuring out what you need to let go of in order to bring something new in. And the Scorpio, of course, Scorpios are passionate and independent. They're genuine and authentic. So great things to be as an artist. And their ruling planet is Mars. And it can also be Pluto, but um, yeah, action planet. Action planet Mars. So on the left, we have the artist card. Now the artist card represents you as a vessel of creative energy and how to open to the knowledge that's available to you from the divine source. And the well is a well of infinite inspiration. As long as you are seeking it, it will flow to you. Next, we have the cards of truth. They're going to be our directional cards. They're going to point us in the right direction. And then we're going to qualify with the Lenormand cards as they are marvelously clear about describing what exactly to look for. So um, let's see. Okay, so let's take a look at the timing and the moon card. We drew the new moon in Gemini for your reading. This is all about communication, it being key. <laughs> it is a new moon, so it's about the start of a new cycle for communicating. And that can be with yourself or it can be with other people. It can be uh, a new start and time to wipe the slate clean and start over and yeah it's a it's a great card to get for working on your communication so first of all we are going to look at that intuition and how to connect with whatever it is the divine would like to share with you so we drew I drew the two of spades for you the spades are all about finding a remedy or a cure. The twos are all about connecting. And twos are moon energy. And spades are fire energy in the cards of truth. So it's about, um, yeah, about, uh, well, connecting, basically. And finding that seed because it also is ruled by the emperor card. And that is about um, connecting, connecting with an idea. Something literally can be, you know, a person, a place, or a thing, but it's you owning your responsibility about taking care of yourself in order to create this healthy balance. Okay, so we're gonna clarify exactly what that means for you in this intuition row. For the Lenormand cards, we got the lilies, the ring, and the birds. So the lilies are all about being an authentic self and to be genuine and to be happy in your what findings of what, where, and what you're doing. The ring is about a commitment and the birds are about having a conversation. So it told me that you need to have a nice long conversation with yourself about finding that happiness that is within your integrity. It's very, very nice that you've got these cards here because it's about finding a better connection 
around your already authentic self. You're already, your integrity is high. But what about taking it that little bit further? Because the challenge here for you, you've got the Four of Diamonds. The Four of Diamonds is a very stable, steady card. The diamonds are all about your, your um, skills and ambition and about, uh, well, you know, it's, it's about finding a value with a people, places, or things. So I really like it in a spread because it talks about you finding your stability and your security in a earthly nature around your skills and talents and opportunity. So that being said, I do see this as an opportunity to take a giant step forward in maybe some of that uh, spiritual transformation needs to take place. Very, very lovely for you. Love those epiphany moments when you really connect to something that is so transforming that it sets you down a completely different and beautiful path to be on. Giant step forward for you. <laughs> and we are looking at letting something go. All right, so for clarifying, you got the car, the, the clouds, the fish, and the coffin. Usually the coffin is like really a, not a great card to get because it's the ending of something. But you are all about endings and new beginnings. So the fact that it's here and it's something about having clear thinking because the clouds are all about whether you're thinking clearly or whether something is not being totally above board, totally in the clear. It's like foggy thinking and it could be again around those transformations of having that commitment to a conversation with yourself, that commuted, communication that is all about the Gemini new moon. So can't stress enough about getting clear, getting really grounded, really clear is just such a great word for it because you got to find that remedy or that cure in order to be able to, well, let it go. And what we're going to let go of is the fish, which is a very interesting idea because the fish are all about abundance, all about um, prosperity. So it's not going to be an easy letting go, but it's going to be a letting go that is wrapped around your skills, your talent. So you're definitely letting go of something that might be fine that you're working with that might have been paying the bills for quite some time and that could be bills relating to your how you're feeling about your skills and how you feel if it's in an abundance or if it's lacking so time to let something go Scorpio time to let it go and move on to something better so it is a challenge, I would say, because it's not going to be easy to move on from something that's been working quite well for you, but you're going to get some kind of clear inspiration that is going to pop an epiphany right inside your head, and you will know exactly what this is all talking about for that remedy or that cure. The uh, inspiration we get the seven of spades. This is a very interesting card for you to get here. The spades are about elimination. I mean, the sevens are about elimination and the spades are all about connecting to that remedy or that cure. So it speaks directly to this coffin card where you are going to have this amazing transformation. 
it might not be easy because the sevens are not easy this is a big one so it's gonna gonna be more of like a, a tower energy which is the the seven of spades card that represents that black cards is the tower and it is mars and it's fire energy so it's your ruling planet it is all about letting go for something more spiritual to happen for you it is truly a spiritual transformation that you are about to connect with i mean, i just think this is a brilliant brilliant spread for you and it's going to end up just fine you are going to land on your feet and i say that because we got the crossroads the anchor and the gentleman so this is all about being presented with a decision to be made and you'll be able to make that choice i think once you've had this conversation connecting you to whatever it is that you need to be able to let go of something that isn't really serving you anymore and to open to this new revelation it's going to be such a huge huge transformation and epiphany for you you've got the anchor so you're going to feel incredibly grounded around it it's going to feel perfect you are going to know you are a very spiritual and intuitive being and it's not going to be any doubt and you have the gentleman card so this is like a really lovely giving you some communication around a masculine energy so yeah it's like you've got a clear shot you once you get through this you are going to know exactly where to go and how to get there and which road to take when you're at those crossroads you open communication communication with yourself with others and get grounded with the four very grounding very earth energy very all about you and your skills and um, abilities and yeah it's really i'm really really happy for you because this is going to be life-changing your art is about to be incredibly inspired like i said it's not going to be easy these tower cards on spiritual transformation it's through elimination like i was saying with the coffin card but you are going to be able to do it it is a beautiful beautiful spread for you it's um and i guess the only other thing that i would add about that is it's for your betterment it's about letting go of ego's attachments and it's about having an opportunity to move forward with patience and tenacity and integrity and having the energy to meet that challenge and to receive the rewards for your efforts really really lovely right yes all right well thank you and good luck and happy creating <laughs>